Wahegur Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahegur Ji Ki Fateh. Welcome to the CQ show. Um, today, we've got a show in regards to the Misuse Trust uh, DVD launch. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to talk about the film, let you let the Sangha know what's happening with it. Um, right, so recently, uh, CQ UK have um, produced a film called Misuse Trust. Now, the premiers have been done, and today we're going to talk about a DVD launch. So this is uh, the DVD. Um, now, on this DVD, you know, we'll go a, a bit more into it of why it was made, etc. But just to give you guys a little example of what it contains, it tackles loads of social taboos like um, sexual grooming, drug addiction, alcohol dependency, uh, domestic violence, just to name a few. Um, you know, there was a Grooming's been happening for a, a while, um, you know, whether we like to accept it or not. We could turn a blind eye as much as we like, but it happens and it's happening on a regular basis. Now, CQ UK have taken the initiative from, you know, from the last five years, making the Sangat aware of what sexual grooming is, how it you know, affects our daughters, our sisters, how it's affecting our households, and, you know, yet nobody's ever talking, talk, talked about it until now. So. Misuse Trust was one of the big steps that CQ UK as an organisation took to create something that will visually let the audience see and understand how it happens, etc. So, you know, just to make the Sangat aware. Um, before we go any further, let's watch a little clip from the film, just so you guys know, um, just so you guys know what, you know, what the film's about. So um, before we go to the clip, um, today with me, uh, we've got Deepa Singh from uh, Seek Youth UK. Um, as I said, what we'll do is we'll discuss how the project came about, what's, you know, what projects are happening in the future, um, the DVD launch of uh, Misuse Trust, how the idea came about. So yeah, it's a, it's a key watching. Um, so far, uh, we've had most of the Sangat who do follow CQ UK on Instagram or the social medias do have a bit of a knowledge about it, but the major vast majority of the of the Sangat don't know that this project has taken place and it's available. Um, as I said, the premieres of the film have happened, and the DVD launch is what we're going to discuss today. Um, so yeah, as I said before, it was something that CQ UK tackled from the start of the organisation from you know, the last five years ago, so from 2011-12. And sexual grooming happens a lot. We've got various organisations out there, but nobody seems to be talking about this taboo subject. So again, let's watch a little bit of the clip uh, of the film, and then we'll come back and we'll have a conversation with the passing of CQ UK. We're going to talk about the DVD launch. Uh, as I said earlier on, with me today, we've got uh, Deepa Singh of Seek Youth uh, UK. Um, so we'll just talk about a bit about the launch of the DVD, the motivation behind and the vision of the film. So, buddy, why good you get Why good you give there? Welcome to the show. Uh, as I said earlier on to the Sangha, misuse trust. Now, it's a film about grooming. It's not just only grooming, obviously. Social, um, social taboos, domestic <coughs> violence drugs, alcohol dependency, grooming is a major factor of this. Now could you just sort of explain the vision and the motivation behind how did this film come about? Okay, so um, first of all to the Sangat, Vai Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vai Guru Ji Ki Fateh. Um, the DVD came out regarding, we did this um, idea, we had this great idea about 
getting the message of sexual grooming because we've heard talks and um, you know there's been a lot of talks over the years there's a lot of awareness which is brilliant uh, there's organizations that have took it to the streets tried to tackle it and over the years for the past 40 50 years we've seen this issue but nobody's actually like the, the issues weren't just one-to-one -one issues uh, where a lot of people have getting uh, that sort of side covered from the uh, social, uh, you know, like um, social workers yeah. and people like that. There's a lot of support groups out there for one-to-one -one, yeah. um, grooming, say, paedophilia, um, all, all that kind of stuff, yeah. There's a lot of support. Um, people take the support, people don't. It's hard to break barriers, especially when it's in the Punjabi Sikh community. Yeah. And uh, what I've noticed is when it comes to the grooming gangs, when there's more than one person involved, that's when people were scared to tackle it. They would start the blaming game. They would brush it under the carpet. So this DVD was produced by our team, and it was Sevadars, and it even costed our project quite a bit. But the vision behind it was to get it to the wider audience, to get it to the uh, bigger picture, uh, in, in a nutshell, basically. So um, a lot of time and effort went into the, this, and. Um, you know, like, I remember being on set that week when it was actually getting produced, that it was like, it was people's emotions were everywhere and mm. whatnot. So it was really um, difficult to actually be there and understand how people, what people are actually going through and somebody acting that, how they were showing similarity signs where they, it was affecting them. So it was really powerful. We've had some lot of good people who put time and effort into this day and night. and. Um, you know, when I saw this, when we went and collected it from the, uh, the company just before Vasaki, uh, before our DVD launch, you know, right. seeing them DVDs, all that hard work that our team done, because it weren't just me or yourself doing this, it was a team effort. Everyone who put that effort in, the actors, the people behind the scenes, uh, from the people going to buy the props to where the set was, where the different sets were, um, you know, how people offered their support for the film and, you know, like some people working countless hours behind the scenes, editing and stuff. Yeah. To get it, when I saw that final production, it, it made me so like, Hans uh, Lahogia, yeah. Hans Made it worthwhile. You, of course it was worthwhile yeah. because after all that hard graft that we finally got a DVD, it, people think, hang on, what, what's a DVD? Mm. It meant so much because of the countless hours and time and effort went in. Because we know how many people we can save by uh, getting that DVD out there. Yeah. And even better, how much money that can come back from the DVDs which can go into bigger projects. Yeah. And that's what it's about, it's just recuperating it and putting it back in. Because yeah. that's all we do as a project anyway. Yeah. So it was a brilliant idea. And the vision from just sitting with a couple of actors and sitting with the main star like Ishmeet Gaur, she was the main actress, to sit with her and sit and see this vision and get it here. And now it's on a DVD and we're like talking about it and selling it at, and interacting with the Sangat and showing it. And you know, obviously uh, we're going to have questions later which goes into what the premieres were and yeah, whatnot, definitely. obviously. But showing the, the amount of support from the community, like from the Sikh community, mm -hmm. You know, how many people endorsed this project was amazing, like from the head, from the Sikh Council to um, uh, organisations who have been tackling, trying to tackle it for years. And uh, nobody's failed because there's no right or wrong way of doing this. Yeah. It's a collective morcha, as in such. It's a collective approach. And people like Shirley Punjab, who used to tackle this years ago, yeah. and organisations like uh, Sikh Awareness Society, yeah. um, you know, all these organisations have been doing so much in the community. You know, it, we've took the film obviously but it's a collective they all supported this film as well which so is everybody's brilliant. come together to support yeah, of the course film. it wasn't just them like organizations like SWAT uh, there's there's so many organizations out there that I can't mention that who have done time and effort to help us even just for the premiere say okay yeah so go. it's been really really good but the DVD is um, on sale now right and any proceeds go back to rehabilitation, the rehabilitation projects and centres. Right. And, you know, uh, showing this, like, after the DVD launch and the first premiere, I just want to say, you know, the first case that came forward from after the pr first premiere yeah. was a, a young Muslim girl okay. who was friends with someone who was in the cast, who knew, so she knew where to go. Yeah. 
and she came forward and asked for support and right. you know from our team we tried to support her as much as we could yeah. you know but obviously the ultimate Maharaj does all the seva and helps anyone Definitely. but you know just just getting that message out there that we're helping everyone from any community yeah. but the aims and the uh, target was the Punjabi Sikh community to come forward and you know how many have come forward it is amazing right, we'll how many people have broken broken that silence that silence that hashtag that we use yeah break the silence how many people have broke that and come forward and spoke now is amazing right um while on subject of actors we've got um the main actress from the film Ishmeet go online so we'll just go to uh, ask her a few questions and then we'll come back to the um the broken silence bit as well buddy uh why could you call sa why could you give for there welcome to the show Ishmeet um just speak Thank to deepa paji about the um the misused trust now you're the main lead in the you're the main lead in the film could you just yeah. tell us a bit about how the role came to yourselves how you sort of felt playing the uh, the role as well um so i've been doing um seva with sikh youth for probably about a year now it was probably about a year ago when um deepa paji first approached me um mm -hmm to get involved with doing seva and start developing um like seva and awareness using the arts um so i train as an actress uh, i'm in my final year of drama school so um people body was aware of this and he saw some of my work and said that he'd love for me to get involved in projects and i already knew about seek youth um and the seva that they did my sister has been um doing seva with the organization for a couple of years now so I was very aware of like kind of what was going on and what they were trying to tackle on the issues they were trying to tackle so I was obviously very keen to get involved um so that started off by like developing a monologue which spoke about sexual grooming and about a girl who like been through sexual grooming right. um and we did that together based on like a case study so that was like kind of the first time that was a that was a really hard really tough thing to do um actually speak to like some of these girls and try and understand what they went through and then tell their story so that was kind of like the first project that we did together um around September time during like freshers and we performed that at the freshers event and and really tried to raise awareness of you know um what happens when you go to university and how to be safe in those situations and then after that I kind of didn't leave <laughs> and I was like I'm staying with CQ forever <laughs> um and then um I didn't know like Deepak Faji and I like spoke a lot about like okay what's next and he said to me like oh I've I've got this idea for like a film and stuff like that and I really love you to get involved so okay. um I was quite involved in the creative process and I think a lot of that's due to because there's like a, not a lot of people with these skill sets that kind of knows how these sorts of things work and especially within our community like you don't see um the arts being used as much or it's only very recent up until very recently um mm. that we're not we haven't been aware of like the impact that the arts can have and i think especially through like the, the film and other different projects with other organizations or artists and stuff we can really see like the power of it um and um so after being obviously involved in the process and stuff like that he said to me like I'd really want you to be in it and I was like cool um so we did that we filmed that which was like very emotionally exhausting <laughs> um um very short deadline and um it was really hard it was really hard to depict that and to kind of um do it truthfully mm -hmm. as well I think that was probably very challenging and I'd had the advantage I guess in compared to some of the other cast members that I from previous experience of like talking to these girls and knowing about like the support that that seek youth offer them and yeah. um you know like I I found it um I had that advantage to really like get into get into grips with the character essentially okay. um but that didn't stop it from like being emotionally exhausting and at the end of the day like it not going to I think that my the performance was like um there's there I would have never been able to truly capture that yeah. you know what I mean um and I can just hope that like that it kind of did like even serve like a tiny bit of justice to the part and to the character that we tried to create in telling this person's story right okay so so it was exhausting i mean as you said it was a short amount of time uh to direct the whole film to get it recorded so it was really exhausting so now 
You know, as you mentioned, you know, you worked with CQ prior to this, and you had that skill set of, of, you know, an actress as you're studying, um, and then you've brought it to the film. Now, you've ex explained how, you know, it's been emotional. Now, some of the scenes in the film, as we know, because we've, we've seen the film, as we know, they're, they're really challenging to do. Now, for an actor, you know, and somebody who's one-to-one -one spoke to these uh, victims themselves, I mean, how hard emotionally was that, and mentally, how hard was it for you to portray that on screen as best as you could? Um, I think what's different to being on screen is that everything's like, you know, there's so much time pressure, like, and there wasn't like we had like any rehearsal time or we had time to kind of like get into it. It was literally like, and it's the same on like any professional set, like you're literally expected to like get on and just do it. Mm -hmm. And there's so many time constraints and Pressure, pressures to be able to film it like when whilst we were filming it was like um there was no there was <laughs> like so upset because there was like obviously like i had to cry a lot during the film and yeah there was a point when like some of the things out to go and buy me onions because i literally couldn't cry quick enough <laughs> so <laughs> i had to like rub onions around my eyes just so we could get the scene um quick enough basically and film it um, but I think I think I didn't I think it was like halfway through right. the week when I realised that like okay like this is this is crazy like this is a crazy amount that we've taken on not just me but us as a collective yeah. involved in the project has taken on to try and deal with this because it wasn't just me like I I felt exhausted, like like I wasn't like eating properly, like I definitely wasn't resting properly. Yeah, okay. There, there was so many high emotions, um, and we really had to work together to be able to get. It. And I felt the effects definitely after as well. How how much it had taken out of me. Okay, perfect. Thanks for uh, giving us your time today, and uh, we'll speak to you and hopefully interact with you soon. So yeah, so why would you go out so why would you give her there? Right, so buddy, yeah, that was uh, the lead actress of uh, of the Misuse Trust DVD. Um sorry, Misuse Trust film. As DVD launched now, um the premieres have happened. What sort of feedback did we get from the premieres of Misuse Trust? But the uh, the premieres we've had so much positive feedback from every like bounty organization you could imagine. Um Sikh Federation, Sikh Council, you know, Organisations like SWAT, Seek to Inspire, mm -hmm. Lions MMA, yeah. Basics, you know, anyone that I can think of, Shere Punjab, you know, um, the, uh, a lot of support from the Slough lads, yeah. uh, United Sikhs, uh, United Sikh Youth Slough, yeah. brilliant support from them, the Derby team, you know, so many teams have um, jumped up and supported, you know, even the Leeds lot from the God Sab, like, you know, the, everyone supported, everyone wanted the film aired in the, um, premiered in their area. There were a few premieres as well, Yes, there? there was. So there was, we had one in, in Birmingham, Birmingham, London, East Midlands, yes. and then the one up north as well? Yes, we had one in Huddersfield, Huddersfield? And, we, and we've had one in um, Leeds as well. Leeds as well. And then it's going to be shown at um, it's Scotland, uh, God as well? Yes, that's going to come on uh, later this month. Later this month? Okay, while we're on the term of uh, Scotland, We've got Rad from Scotland on the phone, so uh, we'll let him explain a bit about uh, the film being premiered at the Goddara. So, buddy, why would you go hard, sir? Why would you give that Why would you go hard, sir? Why would you give that Right, thank you for coming on the show today. So, we just touched on the subject of Misuse Trust being shown at the Goddara in Scotland. Hanji, um, and I know you sort of got in touch with CQ UK and just, you know, told, asked if we could, um, you know, play that up there. So, could you just tell us a bit about how this all come into play, please? Yeah, and it's actually uh, funny because um, I've been following CQ UK's work o o on Instagram and stuff like that for, okay. for a number of months, um, and uh, I've been you know doing see about the Godwara up here, um, and they uh, they are having a, a anniversary program for the opening of the new Godwara building, which is happening on the twenty first of May. Okay. Um, so um, as, as as soon as we can put our team together to. Um, arrange people to come up and have stalls and, and, and so on. And mm. the first thing that popped in my head was CQC UK, uh, and I, I'd been trying to arrange a screening for a, a number of months. Um, 
And just on the off chance, I actually bumped into um, Baji uh, at Mr. Things of all places. Um, and we got talking, and then uh, we, we've managed to arrange a, a, a screening of Miss Hughes Trust on the 20th um, of May, okay. which is Saturday. Um, and then we're hoping to have a, 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 a question and answer session after the screening. Okay, so lovely. Let, let Baji kind of talk about some of the issues that are brought up in the movie. Okay, that's perfect. All right, bye. Thank you very much for um, giving us a call today. And uh, hopefully all the Sangat uh, around Scotland, around the north areas. As Baji said, 20th of May. Um, it's the first year uh, anniversary for the Goddara building. So go down, um, have a look at the Goddara as well. Miss you Trust will be played. Have a word with Baji about his future projects as well. And uh, yeah, hopefully um, you know, we'll see you there. Ourselves as a team will be there as well. Baji, thank you for giving us a call today. Why would you go hard, sir? Why would you give for Why would you give for Right, so yeah, Miss you Trust, we're getting so far so far we've got a lot of you know positive feedback yeah, definitely. there's loads of as you said loads of ekta um loads of organizations coming together um raj from tiger style as in he's he's got in touch with yourselves wants to get this shown um loads of people have, we've heard the, the lectures we've read it now we can visually see the effects of grooming as well i mean that's something it's really hard when we read something it's really hard to portray it but once we see it we sort of know more of what happens um, why it's happening um, again, we've got more callers, um, talk more about the, the, the premieres of the film, how the film came about, and the DVD launch of Misuse Trust. Um, just going to go to a quick break, and then, cliche, see you after the break. Why would you go hot Why would you give up there? Guru Rupiari Sa Sangojiyo, Wahi Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahi Guru Ji Ki Fateh. Aap Ji Anu Suchit Kita Janda Hai, Ke Har Saal Di Tarah, Is Saal Ve Poore Haaland De Samu Sa Sangta Malo, Amsterdam Ve Khe 21 May Din Aetwaro Nagur Kirtan Karwaya Ja Raya Hai. Guru Kaar Pauncana Hai, Nagur Kirtan Hesa Lai Kar Guru Kaar Toh Khushyaan Prapat Karnia Haan. Wahi Guru Ji Ka Khalsa, Wahi Guru Ji Ki Fateh. Bole Sone Haal. गुरुद्वारा बाबा लखीशा बंजारा सिख सेंटर पुंते कुरुने अलसंदरिया इटली दिया समूह संगतावलों इलाके दिया समूह संगतावलों सात मई दिन ऐतबानु खालसा पंत दे साजना देश दी खुशी दे अंदर महान दूसरा नगर कीतन प्रारंभ हो रहा है जिस दिन नमित विच पांच त्रिक नू दिन शुक्रवार नू गुरुद्वारा साहिब के श्री अखंड पाठ सा प्रारंभ होने के सात त्रिक नू ठीक ग्यारह बजे पूर्व को पाई जान के उस तो उपरांत सारियां ही संगता बारह बजे बड़े ही जाहो जहाल दे नाल ये दूसरा महान नगर की तरफ प्रारंभ कर रही हैं ने सो सारियां अलाका निवासी संगतान निवर्ता सहित बेंती है जी आप जी इस नगर की तरफ जी शामिल हो करके कल की तरफ दुष्पेश पिता जी दिया खुशियां प्राप्त करो अति अपना मनुखा जन्म सफला करो जी वाहिगुरु का खालसा वाहिगुरु जी की फतेह वाहिगुरु जी की फतेह कल जुग मैं कीर्तन प्रदाना गुरुमुख जपिया लाए त्याना गुरु प्यारी साथ संगत जी गुरुद्वारा गुरु शब्द प्रकाश अकाल आश्रम सोहाना तू हर रोज मंडे तू लेके फ्राइडे तक सोमवार तू लेके शुक्रवार तक सवेरे 10 बजे तू लेके 11 बजे तक आप जी सोहाना समागम आप जी इस समागम दा आनंद मान सकोगे आप जी ने इस समागम दा आनंद मानन दी कृपालता करनी जी वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फतेह Why would you go Halsa? Why would you give Fateh? Um, welcome back to the CQ show. Um, if you just tuned in, we've been talking about the DVD launch of uh, Misuse Trust, uh, a project that was produced by CQ UK. 
which covers um, social taboos, grooming, drug addiction, alcohol dependency and domestic violence. Um, we've got Deepa Singh with us from CQ UK um, talking a bit about the film. Now before the break, uh, we were talking about the premieres of the film. Now just to cover a bit, we had Birmingham, we had London, uh, East Midlands, Leeds and now Shortly on the 20th of May, uh, Glasgow, Scotland will be playing the DVD at a Gordora. So, people raise the question, sexual grooming, why are we talking about this? Now, we need to talk about this subject because it happens, it happens a lot. Um, we turn blind eye to a lot of things, we need to stop. So many times a girl gets attacked or groomed and we don't talk about it, brush it under the carpet. Families' egos are dented, pride's dented if we talk about you know, what happened to the daughters of their family. We need to make people aware it's happening, we need to prevent it, we need to nip it in the bud. Projects like this, Misuse Trust, they send a visual message to individuals so the, the girls know, know what to look out for, the parents need to know what the signs, the brothers, whoever's around that person needs to see these signs and make sure that this is nipped in the bud before it's too, too late. Again, Misuse Trust, CQ UK, always tackle grooming from day one. And this is just a big, one of the big projects that they've taken. Um, more projects from the back of this, as Baji said, will come. So one of the main, main targets for this film is a safe house. It's a long-term project. It's a safe house. Now, people are playing safe house, ki hunda, Baji. Let the Sangha know what a safe house is and what is the point of, of these projects and where we're, where, what the bigger picture is. So the safe house project is um, not just a small idea, it's a safe house project which holds uh, victims of alcohol uh, dr and drug abuse, sexual okay. grooming, domestic violence, it yeah. holds them. But bigger than the safe house project is the safe house centre, the, the centre, the rehabilitation centre, which we're aiming to uh, recuperate funds from the DVD for yep. and start. Safe houses, we have a few like on the back of the DVD cells, and people have been approaching us saying, look, I've got two rooms in my uh, house. They're, they're, uh, they're suitable for people, for many victims who can come and stay if you need. So people, the Sangha are offering their support, which is brilliant and yeah. fantastic. Um, but the centre, what we want to do is create that national rehabilitation centre for Sikhs, the Punjabi Sikh community, because people and rehabilitation centres currently are failing us mm -hmm. as a community. Right. We are failed. The way that they're getting rehabilitated is they're either leaving the faith, they're going uh, in a different direction, they're getting converted into Christianity on the strategic, on the back, these are strategic ways on the back of uh, projects like NAAA where these centres are uh, built for, so they're not built to target the Punjabi Sikh audience and that's our aims uh, for this centre is the Punjabi Sikh audience so we can re rehabilitate people from our community who we understand their cultural background, we understand their religious background, some of our uh, Sevadas have been in this situation themselves. Myself, I used to be an addict, I used to use. So we've been in these positions where we know how vulnerable we can get. Yeah. So is, we're talking to people with experience. Yeah. We're not reading it off a manual. Yeah, it's and not, it's not something we've learned. Yeah, it's not something you've picked out from, from a textbook and Definitely. trying to portray it. It's something that they've been through themselves. I mean, it's really, it's really hard to portray this, but as Baji said, these people have been there. They've been in the situation that you know these people are in, so to help them is better. It's not there's something that they've learned out of school or took a course on, and they've just got you know the textbook theory of it. They've been on the practical stage as well. Um, but both sides are needed, Baji. As in, uh, we have professionals on board at the same time who have got the qualifications, who have sat with case studies, who have got the experience and the pressure. It is all angles are needed to cover not just one's, uh, one uh, taboo issue, but the whole. Yeah. We need to have an all-round rehabilitation centre for the Punjabi Sikh community in the UK so we can start supporting them and guiding them. It builds homes. Uh, you know, when one person is uh, gone stray in a house 
or there's a uh, the something that's happened in the house. Say it's a sexual grooming, like the story of Japanese. If something happens, it it breaks the home. So it's about rebuilding, rebuilding not just the individual, but the home, the parent, the understanding for the parents, how they can uh, they need parental classes for future, how uh, a brother should be speaking to him, how, you know, the respect, the honor, all of that. How we should be um, building their confidence back. All of these angles need to be covered. Definitely, that's me. I mean. Personally, I'm 100% backing, backing this project. That's just my viewing. Purely for the fact that it happens. We've seen it happen a lot at universities. When we all were students, we've seen it happen in front of us. But at that time, we didn't realise what was happening. Um, you know, from a girl getting her pictures leaked, uh, you know, around a whole group, etc. Blackmail. It's all a sort of grooming. Um, from going out, getting into taxis, where taxis take you to specific chip shops or etc. It's all part of a big gang. We need to be aware of that. Many of us won't even know. We'll just think, oh yeah, you know, girls go out, you know, they get absolutely lashed, get into a taxi. But most of it, it it's, it's really planned. Uh, it, like why it'll go to one certain chip shop, why it'll go to a certain location, why it'll be a certain taxi spot outside certain clubs, outside certain nights. The sea girls get attacked and, you know, they, they get sort of picked on a lot. Maybe for historic reasons, maybe the way we are, but it happens a lot. We as a community, as a Sangat, need to wake up and see this is happening. Prevent is, the, uh, prevent is better than the cure, and why we did this DVD is visual. It's a, it's a form of prevent. It shows what happens in homes, it shows what happens to students, it shows the signs visually yeah. for people to pick up and think, okay, this was happening to me, but I saw the better of it. Okay, this is happening to my friend. I need to be a bit more assertive and get them away from it. You know, any form of event is perfect. And, you know, we need to stop the blaming game. We need to support more than rather than blame now. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we've always, we've come from a, a culture where it's just a blame game. The, the girl will always get blamed. It's, it's a harsh truth, but it's true. You know, the remarks will come out, the snidey remarks, the derogatory terms will come out. But it's, it's not always, there's always a bigger picture. But that's what we need to, as, you know, as the brothers of these sisters, that's where we need to step back and, and see the bigger picture and see what's happened rather than just point the finger and say, yeah, maybe it was her fault. Yeah. We get a lot of that. No, we can't be blaming uh, the, the victims themselves and the families who suffer this, but people are really this is pc and it's really friend everyone wants to be politically correct right yeah, now yeah and they're really worried oh we're not allowed to say this on that we have to say who the perpetrators are right we have to say and i'm not on about the one to one because we know that's everywhere yeah yeah yeah, yeah. we admit that that there is uh, bad in every every community but gang related we know where the majority of the names are coming it's not just the Sikh girls saying it the english girls are saying it read this book I never gave my consent, it's a girl in Telford, violated. The girls in Rotherham, they say who does it to them. Mm -hmm. Just like the DVD, we say who uh, did uh, which gang yeah. and who, uh, which community was behind it. We have said this. You know, it doesn't take uh, a lot of brains to work out where, what and who. Mm -hmm. And, you know, until we start saying that openly, like our organisation does, yeah. then we're not going to get to the bottom of it. We've done it historically as yeah. Sikhi, and we're mm. never going to stop that. Our gurus tell us to speak the truth and stand the truth. Yeah, yeah. So how can we go against what our guru said? True, yes, yeah, true. Um, we'll come back from that on that. Take a quick call. We've got a, a viewer who's, who's rang in, so uh, let's take the call. Why did you give Why did you give Why did you give Why you Thanks for ringing in. Um, just. What would you like to say? Could you just let us know who you are, where you're from and what you'd like to say, please? Okay, buddy, my name is Randeep Singh. I'm calling from the uh, Sikh Welfare and Awareness Team, the SWAT team from London. Um, firstly, I just want to congratulate Deep and his team, the Sikh uh, UK, with the fantastic effort that they put in to... You know, basically what these guys are doing is they're safeguarding the future. They're, you know, what they... The, 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 the topic that they raised about grooming is one of the most important topics that we need to be discussing. This topic mm -hmm. is discussed in every single household in the UK. Not only people, but everybody. We all need to support this. So my BMP is to every single viewer watching this. If you haven't got this DVD, you you have you know like everyone's got food in their fridge. Yeah. You need this DVD in your house to save your future of your daughters, 
So that's all I want to say. All I want to say is that you need to support this. Everybody needs to have this DVD in their house, and this topic needs to be talked about. And congratulations to Deepa and the team for what they're doing. We're going to, we, we in London fully support them. Um, you know, I'm working with Deepa now personally, and we're going to set up a course in London, hopefully monthly. Uh, we're going to run workshops mm-hmm. on, on educate our daughters, our sisters about this topic because it is a very, very serious topic. This yeah. thing has been going on since I've been, you know, since the 80s, we've been trying to tackle this. Yeah. And now, for the first time ever, they've produced a beautiful film just to depict the, the gruesome uh, reality of actually what really happens. And the thing is, uh, the, the, the shocking thing is that actually what they've shown mm-hmm. is just 10% of the reality of really what happens. This, yeah. this thing goes so deep and so nasty. So, well done, guys. Well done. Thank you for giving us a call today, Paji. Why would you go Halsa? Why would you give Fateh? As, as Paji said, I mean, back of the DVD workshops are going on, on, on you know, of to educate people. That's the whole point of this DVD: um, education, a visual education. I mean, you can read so much. The comic uh, before it was released called 1400. CQ UK got together with an artist from London called Jaglal, and they produced a, a comic called 1400. Um, that before that, there were leaflets, there were talks. The visual started, and then here we are today with the product of Misuse Trust. Now, a DVD, as Baji said, everybody needs to watch it. Personally, my own mom, she, she says every girl needs to watch it, purely for the fact that the education isn't there. Our girls that are going to college, to universities, they need to know that this is happening a lot. As Baji said, it's happening since the 80s, maybe even before that. But it uh, is happening. I, I've spoken to... Um uh, uncle, part of uh, Sea Council, Kukurmel from Dolan, yeah. he uh, is well known in the community. He said when they were at university and uh, when they were growing up, this was going on in the 70s and b- back to then. So at the end of the day, this is a real, real taboo Chica. issue. And the DVD is just the, the tip of the iceberg yeah. just to start this off. This is just opening the of worms. Yeah, What's yeah. going on? Look, we've been talking about it. We've had evidence. We haven't had evidence. You know, there's case studies. There isn't. You know, people, it's scared people come forward. They don't want to come forward. As Baji Randeep, and really um, uh, thank him for calling in, but Randeep from SWAT, they do a lot of work. On the back of this, they supported us with the premiere, mm. and now he's back in the DVD, and they're actually selling it on their stalls in SWAT, yeah. and their Sevadars are selling it. They're also selling it, um, uh, got it into one of the shop, uh, cash and carries in London called Sira Cash and Carry, so it's on sale at Sira Cash and Carry. So if you haven't got it, go to Sira Cash and Carry and purchase that. You know, this film's opened up so much that people are coming forward, organizations want to work with us. Yeah. These are um, well-known organizations just like we are, you know, and they do countless work just like we do. Everyone has their role in the in the punt, yeah. and everyone has to do their little bit. Yeah. And coming together with their ideas and our ideas and doing a course, like we've done the film, they're going to do the course, we're doing another project. You know, backing each other is so important right yeah, now. Yeah, definitely. And that's what he's just done, which is really, we're thankful for as an organisation, yeah. that he just rang in and did that. But it is about the support, it is about getting involved, working together, not nicking each other's ideas, but working together and making the calm go forward, preventing our sisters going down a bad road. Like, uh, we can talk about issues that affect us as a community. Yeah. Look, fashion is one massive thing. I'll just, I'll just, po- uh, I'll just point out fashion. People are tarnishing the, the star, they're wearing the, the star, yeah, and they're using it as a fashion statement. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. No, you can't. Guru Gobind Singh said, don't tarnish his crown. That's his, the star. You're tarnishing Guru Gobind Singh's name. People are, there's videos of people uh, justifying what they want to do, their manamat. Yeah. yeah. They're all online over the last few days on Instagram and whatnot. And I've seen it, and it's, it's ridiculous. How are we turning the star? The, we're turning the, the star into a fashion statement, which is wrong, because the, the star is our crown. It's our, uh, you know, people need to see that and say, we ain't no jokers. Definitely, yeah. We're not Sing Sing the Disco King. Yeah. You see what I mean? We're, yeah. we're, they're, they're, we're the things that uh, bring home uh, our uh, sisters. That's who people need to look at. These English girls who are watching this, girls who are watching this film, and they're calling us. There's, like I said, the first case that came forward was a Muslim girl. You know, people are coming forward because they're seeing the, the star in a better light. We don't need to go backwards no more. Stop tarnishing the, the star. That'll be the first 
You know what I mean? Uh, uh, I'm sick to death of people saying, oh, we can do this and we can do our man math. No, we can't do our man math. We do what our Guru says. And none of us are perfect. Not me, not no one. None of us. We ain't Mahapurush. We ain't Gurus, are we? Guru was perfect. No one else is perfect other than our Guru. But we try. But at least stick to the principles and don't tarnish the, 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 the star. Definitely, definitely. Don't use it for your own good. I mean, there's people out there who are using it as a fashion symbol. Uh, to make money for themselves, etc. We need to stop that. We need to bring it back. Most of all, as Baji said earlier on, a lion which we like, we need to protect our future. We need to save our future. If you've just tuned in, um, let's watch another quick clip of the uh, Mystery Trust uh, film, which is available on DVD. So let's watch uh, a little clip. So if just so you've missed it at the start, pay a little bit of so you guys know what we're talking about. Misuse trust is about um, grooming, drug addiction, alcohol dependency, uh, domestic violence. It's just a little bit put into a film. Obviously, you know, you have a little bit of time in a film, just like we've got a little bit of time in the show, we can cover certain things, not all. This film, we've covered, like I said, we just, just tip of the iceberg. We've opened up a can of worms. Um, loads of things could have been put in, um, you know, but physically we couldn't have put it in. As what we mentioned before, it's about not rubbing each other's ideas, it's like working together. All these organisations have come together, there's loads of backing of CQF UK now, purely for the Misuse Trust. It's been happening for years on end, as far back as the 60s. Um, it happens on a daily basis. This DVD, the, after the premiere, as Baji said, the first case that I come forward was a Muslim girl. It's not just happening to our girls, it's happening to loads, but we need to box it off for a second. We need to sort our home out first before we can help others. That's always been the vision. And again, this is what we're trying to portray out there to the future. You know, there's, there's loads of girls who are going to go to uni, going to go to college. They need to be aware of this. While we're on the subject of students, Freshers' Fair 2016, it was, you know, loads of uh, young kids were going to university, etc. And for the first time ever in the whole of Europe, CQ UK brought together, how many was it, over 300 yeah, students sure. on a Wednesday, which is supposed to be a, a big club night in Birmingham, into the Gordwara to make them aware of the dangers out there and just to bring, you know, Sikh societies and Sikh students who have left their homes into the Gordwara to n make them aware that CQ UK are out there to help them, to listen to them and if they need anything just to get in touch with us. So probably this vision again, it was another idea, another concept like Misuse Trust that came about. So what was the whole sort of vision behind this? Because not many people know about that, that this has happened. Yeah, the Freshers' Fair was um, just to start, like Ashmeet said earlier, she was part of the Freshers' Fair. A lot of students got involved because it was a, a really well done uh, little campaign project we did for the Freshers' Week, basically. And from the back of that, all these students come forward for support. Loads of universities got involved and they regularly contact us from that. Um, we've had case cases left, right and centre come on the back of that uh, Freshers' Fair, which is brilliant. A uh, lot of support they've had from mm -hmm. us and we'll be putting that out to the Sangat as well, yeah. how we've supported uh, the Sikh society, how we've s supported vulnerable people at university this yeah. year. Um, I just wanted to go on to the DVD yeah, and the launches we, we did. So we did the launch at uh, Guru Nanak Medic and Slough 
on the same day, which was 16th of April, and uh, it's nearly a few weeks now, and we've done, we pushed it out as far as we can. The Slough lads and the, the team in Slough and the youth in Slough pushed it well, uh, really fast, so well done to them. Um, we did uh, the Nugget Keatons, most Nugget Keatons had the DVD on sale. Yeah. So it was available to purchase at most Nugget Keaton stores, which is good. Some people didn't know about it. We haven't uh, put it out as much as we could, but we, we, we're trying and we're yeah. getting there. We're about, obviously, uh, we're getting support from the Seat Channel and we're really thankful to them for supporting us. Um, I also, just wanna sorry, what's that? As the DVD was available at Nugget Keaton's. Um, if you guys have missed a Nugget Keaton in your local area or you weren't aware about this DVD, buddy, could you tell us where you can get this DVD from? So um, it's available on CQ UK stalls, but shops, it's available at Punjabi Roots in Smedic, DTF on Saha Road, and Sirakash and Kari in Southall. But on the, the organisations that have bought DVDs of us and they're selling them on their stalls and we're right. really thankful to all these organisations. Organisations is um, United Sikh Youth Slough, uh, the Sikh to Inspire team, the SWAT London team, the Basics of Sikhi team, Shere Punjab, uh, Your Seva, Sikh Youth Project, Sikh Youth, all the Sikh Youth teams obviously. All these organisations have took uh, at least a box of DVDs off us, or two, some have took four, and they're selling them in their designated areas. Why? Because they care. They care about the fund, they care about these projects, they realise how many issues we have, welfare right. issues in the community. The Godwari that have backed it is Guru Nan Godwara Smedic, the Sikh Temple Godwara Leeds, and Guru Arjun Dev Godwara Derby. Right. Okay, these, these Godwari are actually uh, selling the DVDs for us daily as well, so they're available at these Godwari. Um, uh, just a binti out there right now from us as an organisation, in your areas, your Godware, your local groups, your local teams, inbox us on social media, CQ Birmingham, CQ UK, uh, email us at info at cquk.com, Instagram, Snapchat, you know, all the social media sites, we're on there, CQ UK, CQ Birmingham, find us, message us, email us your details, we want the DVDs in your local Godware. We want them in your local community. Why? Because the prevent is better than the cure. You know, we need to help our community grow. We need to help and support them. Purchasing, purchasing the DVD is going to help other people. It's going to have, help the project and it's going to help support the community. And that's what we really care about is the Punjabi Sikh community because this is where the issue lies is within our community and how can we help somebody else's sisters if we can't even help our own True, that's and perfect. that's how how it has to be we have to help our own we have to get look at girls getting involved like Kashmir. there's other girls she's brought other girls on board there's so many sevadars up and down the country now it's brilliant we need more there's so much workload coming on get involved we have so many projects not just about grooming but about alcohol and drugs as well but just please get involved right that's perfect thank you for that buddy right so Misuse Trust DVD. Um, there's a list of bodies mentioned where you get it from. If you still want it, Instagram CQ UK. Um, send us a message. We'll get back in touch with you. Seek Channel. Um, Seek Channel selling it as well. Get in touch with them. Um, just yeah, follow the Instagram, follow the uh, social media, the Facebook, everything. Um, the money that's going to be made from this is going to go back into the project. It's not. It's not about that. We're not about that. We've all got jobs. We all do our bit for the community. This is giving back. The bigger picture is a safe house. Safe house, the safe house community center. As Baji said, we need to help our own girls. We need to help our own future. Let's get together. Let's drive this project so we can move forward together and do bigger and better things. Every household should know that this problem is happening. There's no need for our sisters, our daughters to go through this just because they made one bad move. Let's prevent this from happening. Now, CQ show will be again present on Seek channel, um, make sure you watch it, CQ for UK as Buddy said, Instagram, Facebook, the SoundCloud with Geethan on there as well if you need it, we're on YouTube, um, info at cquk.com if you want us to get in touch, if you want us to come to your local Goddard to do a talk, your colleges, your unis, get in touch with us, we're more than happy to come down, if you want to sell your DVDs there, let us know if you want to come on to the show, you want to ring in as Baji done earlier on, give us a call. Um, 
just get in touch with us. As a Sikh youth, it's for the youth, it's for all of us. It's not just a, a few, five, ten people that you know think we're the face. We're not the faces of it. There's so many other people involved. Let's get involved. Um, let's take this forward. Get the DVD. Hannah, show it to your cousins, your sisters, your family, friends, your friends, family. Everybody needs to know that grooming is happening. Get in touch. Get it. Let's, let's move forward. Let's save our girls. Wahe Guruji ka khalsa, Wahe Guruji ki fateh.